the Star Wars canon places us in this period when we don't really know when we are. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. My name is Daniel Arsham and I am a visual artist. I've been an artist my whole life. I've worked with many different pop cultural icons and sort of projected them 10,000 years into the future. One of the most important things for me is to allow the work to sort of float in time. We don't quite know when the object is from because it feels like something from our own life, but looks like an archeological object. Is it from the past or is it from the future? George Lucas was so good at creating this period when we don't really know when we are. My work naturally, I think, sort of fits into that universe. I've always tried to make things that I wanted to see exist. The first version of this collaboration with Star Wars, I sort of made for myself, like what would I want, right, as an object? And also bring in new fans to my universe. So this is the first edition that I'm releasing with Sideshow. It took a while to get here, figure out all the mechanics around achieving this at this scale. I've collected Star Wars toys since I was a kid, but Sideshow has a different level of collector. It's been helpful to have their kind of insight the reaction was amazing. I think people are excited about looking at the Star Wars universe through my lens and having a different take on it. It's been a great experience. The art world is very gate-kept. But I've never wanted to make work that was just about the art world needed to be work that was for everyone and speaks to everyone. <laughs> <laughs>